Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome back to Staxel. In the last episode, we moved into town and got to work on our brand new, slightly rundown farm. So far, we've managed to plant and harvest one beet, which I guess we're probably going to want to sell today to see if we can make more petals to hopefully buy more seeds to put in the ground. But thanks to the help of Farm Fan and Rowan, we learned all of the ways that we're supposed to uh, take care of our farm, and we also received the most adorable little pet. Um, Ivy, where'd you go, sweetie? Did she go back inside her little uh, cat house? It looks like her food bowl might actually be empty, so maybe that's the problem. We probably have to make sure that we uh, can buy some more to feed her with. Can we have you come out, though? I guess she must be sleeping. Okay, Ivy. Well, we'll be back soon. We do have some work to do anyway, and we have to make sure our chicken is doing well too. Oh, Sunshine is happy. That's because she has plenty of food to eat for breakfast. But we need to head back into town to try to find the builder's shop, because Max mentioned that we should be able to find um, Eliza there. And hello, Leaf. It looks like Farm Fan and Leaf may have snuck in through like the back entrance of the tavern. Can we uh, talk to you guys maybe? This place hasn't always been as well stocked as it is today. Back when I started minding the place, it only stocked basic groceries. Oh, he's talking about his uh, supermarket, isn't he? I've done what I could to keep the store alive. I thought he was talking about the tavern because you guys are kind of like in the back storage room of poor Rowan's place. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to uh, interfere with all of your goods back here either. Good to see you, Jesse Mew. What can I do for you today? Oh, let's chat. Any rumors? I'm thirsty or nothing, really. Well, any rumors? I believe Farm Fan mentioned that uh, Rowan knows a lot of rumors around town. Supposedly, Rhea is having a little trouble. Oh, so maybe we can uh, go accept like a quest from her or something? She probably has something for us to do. She was the one who is a, a cat just like us, or Keith rather, and she seems to like to fish. Oh, but there's Oscar. We have to be careful when he's around because he does not like us getting his paths all dirty with the mud and whatnot from the farm. So is this the builder shop? That seems to be a block of some sort, so let's see if this is where we're supposed to be. There's like nobody inside here. But there are a lot of uh, different blocks. Oh my gosh. They're all so tiny. Oh, it's like we're shopping inside a little dollhouse. That is too cute. We have carpets that we can buy. We have all sorts of different colors of a stone blocks. It looks like wood blocks too. Oh, we have a lot of different things that we could actually uh, build with here. Even things like chicken feeders. Is that like uh, what we place down or is that something different? Maybe like an automated system? I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter if nobody's here for us to buy from. Eliza? Are you out in the back? Oh, this is very, very strange. Maybe she stepped out for a moment to uh, get some breakfast or some lunch now because it seems like the day is passing very, very quickly. The lights are even coming on outside the uh, fountain. Oh dear, we're going to lose the entire day if we're not careful. There's Rhea though. We heard that you might be having a little bit of trouble. One moment, Jesse Mew. Do you think you could deliver this pink letter to Oscar for me? Uh, sure, no problem. Perfect, thank you. All right, that's the item. We actually just saw Oscar not too long ago. He's always hanging around the uh, pathways trying to sweep them up. There he is, going toward the uh, supermarket. Hang on a moment, Oscar. We have something to uh, give to you. Oh, is that pink letter for me? Indeed it is. We can actually say no. We can just like refuse to hand it to him. Thank you. Please take this for your trouble. A chicken in a crate? Oh my gosh, you just gave us another chicken just for giving you a letter? Really? Sorry, sorry, that's probably my fault. We don't mean to get your pathways dirty. But this is excellent. Now we'll have a little friend to uh, enjoy the presence of Sunshine the Chicken too. So I guess we just sell our items at the marketplace, right? This was where farm fans said that we could sell the things that we grow. I'm just curious if maybe there's a good place for us to uh, sell it to. Like maybe somebody would give us some more coins than others. We might as well just uh, plop it into Leon's bin though. 34 petals for one beat. 
I guess that's not too bad. So we'll go ahead and sell that so we have the extras to uh, buy seeds with. I wonder if Leaf has a left for the day. This would probably be the best place for us to uh, buy some extra seeds. There we go. So do certain seeds only grow in certain seasons? That's my other question. For now, we'll play it safe and just buy some beetroot seeds. It looks like this is a pack of three. So we'll go ahead and buy uh, six seeds and we'll plant those all on the ground as soon as we get back to the farm. So thank you very much, Leaf. It looks like you already took uh, all of our petals. And we might also want to snag up some pet food too. Oh, that is very, very expensive, but it's worth it. We have to make sure Ivy is very well fed, of course. She's going to be a very, very cranky kitty if she has to go catch her own food. Oh, hello. Amelia, we haven't met you before. Hi, hi. I don't think we've met yet. I'm Amelia. I hope we get along well. Oh, she seems really cute. And she has an adorable flower on her apron. I wonder if she does some of the gardening around town. Maybe she has like a flower shop that we could go visit. Oh, and we delivered your letter, Rhea. I'm not sure if I need to let her know. Mm, yeah? Do Kate's always end sentences with Mia? No, just sometimes. Mia, <laughs> maybe we'll have to get into character then since we are Kaith ourselves. But since it's getting so late, let's make sure that we plant uh, all of our little beetroot seeds into the ground. Luckily, we have just enough spaces to put all of these seeds anyway, so we don't have to do any extra work. We'll just have to make sure that we water them too. Oh, and Sunshine, you are going to be so happy. Oscar gave us a brand new friend for you. But I hope these beetroot seeds are going to grow fast because I guess we're really going to need to get our hands in some more petals. Oh, and don't worry, Ivy. Hey, are you scratching the side of our house? Like a scratching post? What on earth are you doing, little one? Ivy is happy now. Oh, she is so sweet. You are the cutest little thing, and I'm so happy that you're on our farm. And now, Sunshine, here's your new friend. I wonder what this one is going to be named. Oh, it's a little brown chicken, Letitia. Oh, that's a sweet name too. And it looks like she may have consumed all of their food as well. But since it's getting so late, it would probably be a good idea for us to go inside and get to sleep. Now, last time, it turns out that I actually passed out inside the house. The moment I went into the bathroom, our poor little farmer was just too exhausted and passed out on the floor. So it's good to know that that wasn't any sort of a magical time warp. But it's also good to note that we might want to patch up this wall because we are looking straight into the bathroom from our bed. That is uh, not very good for privacy. But we'll go ahead and let uh, our little farmer sleep for the day in her actual bed this time. And then hopefully tomorrow she'll have better luck finding Eliza. I'm a little bit surprised that she wasn't, oh my gosh, hello, uh, hanging around inside her shop. There we go, now we're out of bed. It looks like it might be raining outside today too. You can kind of see it through all of the holes in the windows. Oh, we're going to have to patch that up as well. Luckily, we do have some leftover blocks. I believe uh, Max gave us these, so we could patch up this wall right now. It would be a good opportunity for us to uh, maybe consider knocking down the rest of these cobwebs. We did a little bit of work on the house yesterday, but uh, it was a bit too dark to see everything. There we go, that looks much better. Now at least we won't have to worry about any drafts. Oh, and we have a little shelf in here. Oh, it's just like the shelves at the store. We can place down items like it's a little dollhouse. It looks like there's even items for us to use too. We have simply a wooden double wardrobe sitting there in a clay jar, and then a, a simply comfy chair. All right, well, we might as well place down a, a comfy chair for us to sit in. I'm sure our little farmer would really appreciate that. We'll go ahead and place it right in the corner by the window for now, right next to our lonely little candle lighting up this entire house. And then the a double wardrobe. I wonder if this would be a good way for us to change our clothes in the future. Let's go ahead and place it inside our bedroom. There we go. Slowly but surely, this place is coming around to uh, feel a bit more like a home. Now, maybe this means that we won't have to uh, water our plants today. Yeah, it looks like the soil is all taken care of. So let's head out back toward the town and see if hopefully Eliza is actually in her shop today. 
I mean, I'm almost positive that Max told us we needed to look for the builder's shop. I guess there's always a possibility that that was the wrong place. Oh, but what is this one? Airship landing? Base requirements, we need two benches, ten ropes, one cork board? Okay, I don't know what this is. Maybe that has something to do with multiplayer, but it's definitely not where Eliza is located. Why don't we see if we can actually check the sign too? I didn't realize we could interact with this thing. Yeah, this is the building store. Hmm, that's interesting. Eliza, are you in today? You know, it seems like she is still missing. All right, she must be, oh, there she is. Eliza, why are you never inside your shop? We've been looking all over for you. Hey, wanna give me a hand? Hmm, not sure I've seen you around. I'd shake your hand, but I don't think you'd appreciate the oil. The name's Eliza though. If you ever have any crafting needs, I can help out. Hmm, is that your farm license? I'm guessing Maximilian sent you about the barn then? It's a bit of a task, but I figure it'll get you familiar with working around here. All right, the barn sign. See, this here is a marker designed to plot out the land belonging to the barn. They come in all shapes and sizes. You seen the mailboxes around? Same deal. Just shove her into the ground and make sure you got the rotation right, and you'll be on track in no time. You can take a look at it any time after that to get an idea of what's missing. However, and keep this firmly in mind, that barn ain't gonna build itself. You gotta do that part yourself. You'll have to chop down trees for wood, turn them into blocks, and build it up bit by bit. Oh, maybe we shouldn't have used all that wood for the house then? I mean, we kind of needed to, though. We kind of had to fix those holes. Of course, you can always buy some of the blocks at the building store. Other parts might be a bit harder to come by. Now off you trot. Go find a nice spot for that barn and come back to me with some wood. All right, she gave us an axe too. Thank you, Eliza. An axe ought to help you out with that. Once you have the wood in hand, I'll show you how to turn it into more interesting things. All right, so I know we already have some wood with us, but we might as well go find a place to actually set down the sign. That would probably be the first order of business. And Oscar, oh, this poor guy, he is still trying desperately to clean every last one of these pathways. Hello, Maximilian. Were you checking up on us? We're just about to place down this uh, little sign, so you shouldn't have to take care of all of those cows for very much longer. Oh my gosh, and are you a little grasshopper? I don't think we have a way to catch that guy yet, but I bet we will in the future. So where should a barn go? Maybe somewhere back here? It looks like we actually do have quite a bit of free space in this area. So maybe uh, right about in this location? Right on the pathway? Wait a second, that's the wrong way. Oh no, let's get our hammer out and try again. She did warn us about this, but I guess our little farmer wasn't paying well enough attention. There we go, right there ought to do it. Oh, and look at that, we can see like where we're supposed to actually build this thing. The guidelines have kind of disappeared, but I definitely saw some little yellow blocks that we're supposed to build within. Oh, and it looks like there's actually wood back here already. Somebody tried to build some sort of shed on this pathway, but it looks like it may have crumbled. It makes me wonder how long this place has actually been uh, without anybody to take care of it. But there's our very first piece of wood. Some raw wood to send back to Eliza. Maybe we should chop down some of the trees outside of uh, the farmlands area. It looks like there are tons of forests out this way. Oh, even different types of trees too. Big pine trees with the most gorgeous purple flowers at their base. Oh, I wonder if we can maybe plant those on our farm at some point. Honestly, I adore everything about this world. It is just so bright and colorful with flowers everywhere you look. And hello, little ladybug. Oh, I wish I had a way to catch you. But yeah, it looks like we uh, can't interact with it. You need a bug net to catch this. So maybe one of the other people around town would have a way for us to uh, collect the bugs. Just like I'm sure Rhea is going to eventually teach us how to fish. Alright, so hopefully it'll be easier for us to actually find Eliza this time. We'll check inside the uh, little shop again. But I have a feeling she's probably... Oh, there you are! Now you're finally in your shop! Alright, so we have a whole bunch of wood. Hopefully this is going to be enough. Ready to learn the ways of the master builder? It's actually pretty easy. 
All you need is three things. Ingredients, a blueprint or recipe, and craft and stations. The stations you need to get the barn done are all set up in the build and store already. Oh, I think I saw those over on the side. Feel free to borrow them anytime, just don't try to run off with them. When structures get vandalized, well, we ain't gonna be using them till they're fixed. So anyway. Okay, so there's our first blueprint. This blueprint will show you how to make a basic trough for the barn. I suspect you already know how to make a few more basic blocks though. Well, not really, to be honest. You need to use the blueprint in order to memorize it. Then you can find it again anytime in the blueprint tab of your inventory. I'll give you a moment to do that. Talk to me again when you're all set. All right, so if we go into our inventory, hopefully we'll be able to find the blueprint tab. Is that what this is? Yeah, I think it might be. So we need two lumber to make some fine lumber and two raw wood to make the lumber. Okay. Okay, I think I'm getting it. We need to use the saw too in order to uh, turn it into lumber. So this will tell us what sort of tool we need to make these items. There's some fancier blocks in here too. Brick blocks, cobblestone pathways, large brick blocks, even a red roof tiles. So we should be able to maybe extend our house in the future. But for now, let's just see what we're going to need to build this barn. So we managed to do it, Eliza. With that out of the way, it's just a case of putting the bits and pieces together. Each step in the blueprint uses a particular type of crafting station. If you need to saw something, a saw bench will do that for you. Yeah, you can see all of those uh, assembly stations in the background. If you want to assemble something, an assembly station is the way to go. Makes sense, right? You want to set the items down on the left side of the station. The final result you take from the right. Interacting with the middle of the station will usually set her going. All right, and she gave us some nails and hay bales too. Excellent. These should cover some of the items needed to make a trough. Start by using the saw bench in the building store to make some lumber. If memory serves, the barn needs a couple of troughs, some walls, and a roof. Once you have all the parts, go finish off that barn. I'm sure I don't have to remind you how to build a good structure. Of course not, Eliza. Just put down some blocks to make four nice walls. Make sure you don't forget the door or you might run into some problems. Then cover it with a solid roof of blocks to keep out the rain. It really doesn't matter what type of barn you build. We don't have a solid blueprint. Just keep most of the structure inside the glowy bits and it'll be all good. Okay, so those guidelines that we saw before. I'll be waiting to hear all about it when you're done. All right, so I guess we have a pretty big project ahead of us. To start things off, it looks like we can memorize the blueprint that she gave us inside our inventory. What was uh, that one for again? Let's see if I can look at it here. A blueprint for an empty trough. So let's go ahead and memorize that. You successfully learned the recipe for the empty trough. And then if we go back into our inventory again, maybe we can see exactly how it's made. So we need to assemble six lumber, two fine lumber, three nails, and a hay bale in order to make the empty trough. So we're going to be spending a lot of time inside the builder's shop today. Good thing we collected a lot of that raw wood. We might as well um, turn it all into lumber. So we need to use the saw first. Let's see if we go ahead and place it on the left side. Then we can click it in the middle to hopefully start making the lumber. There we go. All right, so we need a good bit of this and it looks like it's going all by itself so we don't even have to lift a finger. There we go, six uh, pieces of lumber. And from there, we should be able to turn this into a fine lumber, I believe. We only need two pieces though. We don't want to turn all of our lumber into fine lumber. So we'll see if maybe we can turn it off after we get our second piece. Okay, there we go. Now can we stop it? Oh no, I think I was a little bit too late. We're learning though, slowly but surely, we're getting the hang of this. So we just have to chop down some more trees before we can get to work again. Oh, I just noticed that we could also buy seeds from Mahali over here at her little station in the marketplace. Though I don't think she's selling items any cheaper than the supermarket. So I'm not sure if there would be a specific reason to uh, buy it here rather than at Leafs. But otherwise, let's just pick up a little bit more um, chicken food, which is going to leave us very, very low on funds. But I know that Sunshine and Letitia need their supper. There you go, little ones. 
I hope you're doing okay out here out in the rain too. We need to figure out if maybe we can uh, give them a little chicken coop to live in because I'm sure they would be much, much happier with an actual warm, dry place to rest their heads at night. Luckily, Ivy has her little cat house and she can always come inside too. I mean, even the chickens, I would not mind if they decided to come inside as well. But let's go ahead and let our little farmer sleep again. And I think in the next episode, hopefully anyway, we will be able to finish building the barn. We just need to chop down a couple more trees and then we'll have to figure out how uh, to structure our barn too. Does this say anything about the building if we interact? Oh, it's one of these signs again. Simple barn base requirements, a roof and uh, two troughs. It says that we have a roof here. I think that's a lie. There is uh, definitely no roof over our heads at the moment. You really can't even say that the leaves are counting as a roof and I don't think the cows would be too appreciative of it either. But at least we know we need to make two troughs and then we should be able to complete our first building. So we'll do that in the next episode, but for now, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys!